Hi, I'm Ranger Becky and I work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service at the Southeast Louisiana National Wildlife Refuges Complex. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, it is our mission to work with others to conserve, protect, enhance fish, wildlife, and plants, and their habitats for the continuing benefit of the American people. That's you and that's me. Now friends, today I am here to discuss sea turtles with you. And we have sea turtles here in Louisiana. We can find evidence of sea turtles on one of our refuges in the Chandelure Islands. At Breton National Wildlife Refuge, we can find evidence of green and loggerhead sea turtles coming ashore to either bask and lay their eggs. So it's really great that we have these wonderful creatures in Louisiana. But friends, they need our help. There's a big problem with sea turtles. Right now, we don't know a lot about sea turtles from when they hatch to when they come back on shore as adults. So when baby sea turtles, this is actually an adult green sea turtle, but when sea turtles go out as hatchlings, we lose track of them for a number of years. We only learn more about them when they are in their adult stage, like this green sea turtle. Now, friends, where do they go? What happens to them? Why is it that only one in a thousand sea turtles survive to become an adult? There's a big problem out there. And friends, we need your help to solve it. One of the big problems that we are facing out there is trash. There's lots of trash, and this trash has a very special name. We call it marine debris. So let's break that down. Marine basically means it's an aquatic environment. So it's in a water environment. And debris is anything that's not native or living. And that is all of this trash. Now this trash was found at Breton National Wildlife Refuge. And let's open it to see what are some of the items that we find that wash on shore in the Chandelure Islands. So we got a cup made of plastic a cup made of styrofoam, we found a comb made of plastic, we found parts of sunglasses, what? here we go, parts of toys and baby accessories, we find a lot of that. We also find a lot of silverware, so this used to be a fork or a spoon, I think it was a fork. We also find plastic parts of bubbles, plastic parts of hats. We find all sorts of plastic items on our Breton National Wildlife Refuge. But this is a big problem, but that's not the only problem that is in marine debris. Marine debris is very harmful, and a lot of our native animals, especially that live in the Gulf of Mexico and Lake Pontchartrain, accidentally think that this is food. So how can we help them? We can help them by picking up trash and by not littering. Remember, it, if it's trash, it only goes in the trash can. It doesn't go on the ground and it doesn't go out the window. It goes in a trash can. So friends, one thing you can do to help sea turtles survive to adulthood is to do not litter. But there's one more thing you can help us with. On Breton National Wildlife Refuge, we find a lot of these. Do you know what this is? It's a balloon. We find a lot of balloons washing up on shore. Now, a lot of people think, well, balloons aren't really harmful, but they are. Do you hear that crinkly material? This is actually a substance called mylar, and mylar is a form of plastic, which means once plastic is created, it doesn't go anywhere and there's no organism that's on the planet that eats plastic. So it's very toxic. And a lot of sea turtles will confuse this for food. Now a lot of you are kind of like, uh, it's gold, they should notice that none of their food is gold. But friends, this is what a balloon looks like when it's only been out in the ecosystem for a couple of days. But if that balloon is allowed to stay there and we don't pick it up and throw it away, the balloon gets rolled over in the sand and the surf, and that color starts to fade away. Now you can still see that this was a happy birthday balloon, but look, a lot of the color of that mylar balloon has been rubbed away. 
And if it's out there even longer, it turns one it turns clear. So this is a clear balloon that we found on Breton National Wildlife Refuge. And think about it. Jellyfish are also clear like this. So when they're floating in the ecosystem like this, the sea turtles, who don't have the best eyesight, confuse this for food. I'm going to show you a couple of pictures just to show you what I'm talking about. Here's a picture. Can you count how many jellyfish are in this photo? And how many of those are plastic bags or balloons? It's not that easy, is it? Here's another picture that I want to show you. A picture of a latex blue balloon next to a Portuguese man of war, which is a type of jellyfish that sea turtles like to eat. Can you tell the difference? I can't. Now, this other picture is an actual of a green sea turtle eating a plastic bag. This is very harmful. So what can you do, friends? Don't litter. And remember, enjoy those balloons, but only enjoy them inside. Don't release them out into our habitat because a sea turtle will thank you to keep their habitat clean by not littering, picking up trash, and to make sure that balloons are not released into their habitat. Okay, friends, if you want to learn more about the work that we do at Southeast Louisiana, you can find more information out on our Facebook page at Southeast Louisiana or visit our website. We hope that you have fun during Ocean Commotion and remember to learn lots about sea turtles, but remember, the biggest message is, is they need our help. And you can do this by picking up trash and making sure it's either recycled or thrown away. Thanks friends and have a great day.